Hi guys, Misty with Queen Bee's Vintage here. Uh, today I'm going to show you a few products that we are creating for an event that we're doing this weekend. And when I say we, my mom Sherry, who is my business partner with our company Queen Bee's Vintage, is joining me. She's behind the camera. She doesn't really like to be on film. Say hi mom. Hi everybody. So that's my mom Sherry and maybe one of these days I'll be able to get her to join me in front of the camera to do some tutorials. So today we're gonna do some fun um, projects that could actually be a D DIY project for you guys at home. My mom, who is super talented with a sewing machine, has created these pillow forms for us that have some ticking on the back. And what we're going to do is we are going to use some transfers from a company called Chalk Couture. I will leave our link to the website down below in the description box. But what is really cool about this company is these are reusable transfers. So they're a little bit like a stencil, but they are more of a silk screen. So these can be reused. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to use these transfers today and the products that go along with them and how we can transform these um, great pillow uh, covers that my mom made into some great custom pieces. So what you're going to do is you just peel the transfer from the backing and I'm gonna set that aside. And you wanna be really careful to make sure that the transfer doesn't stick to itself, sticky side to sticky side. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to lay it down on the pillow form and get it centered on here. We've also put something in the center so it can't bleed through. Yeah, mom put parchment paper and wax paper inside the pillow cover to keep the ink from bleeding through to the back side where the, with, onto, I can't talk, onto the ticking. So I'm going to flatten this out really good. I think I have it the way, looks like it might be just a hair crooked. Let's try this again. And you could, if you wanted to be super particular, you could even get like a cloth measuring tape out and measure, but sometimes they're not exactly centered on the transfer itself. So you don't always want to rely on measuring like from edge of transfer to the edge of your project. That looks better. So what I'm going to do now that I have it down is I'm just going to take, this is a squeegee that Chalk Couture puts out and it actually has a metal handle that'll attach to it. But I'm just gonna take it and smooth it over my project just to make sure you don't wanna have any bubbles, especially where the, the screening is, where the design is cut. You don't want any bubbles there. And you don't wanna have any wrinkles in the transfer across the screened area. If there's wrinkles out here in this green part, that's gonna be okay. So Chalk Couture has what's called Chalk Paste. So their paste is actually a product that you can create. A, I would never use it on the fabric, but you can use it like on chalkboards or um, glass and you can create a great custom design. And then if you wanted to change it for different season, holiday, whatever, the, the paste will wash off. So. Um, you could get one chalkboard and do multiple designs on it throughout the year. But like I said, you aren't going to use it on cloth. What you're going to use is they also have their Couture ink. And this product, with the, when you use the ink, you are going to heat set it. The chalk paste just dries on, it own, it, on its own. You don't have to heat set it. But for the inks, you're going to have to heat set and you always wanna use ink on the fabric or if you're doing, um, say, ceramics or you know, creating, creating coffee cups, things like that, you can use these transfers and this ink on those products as well, but you are going to be heat setting it. So I'm gonna be using ink today and unfortunately we ran out of our Chalk Couture ink, so I'm going to be using a silk screening ink, which that's the, the other nice thing you can substitute and we're going to get it laid out on the project. We'll pull the transfer back, and then I'm gonna heat set it with a heat gun. And then we might even throw it in the dryer for about 15 minutes too. So you can also use an iron to heat set. Okay, so 
I've got everything set up here. I've got my squeegees, which we're going to use to apply the ink. I've got my ink. Today I am using a speedball ink because as I said, we are out of our red, green, and white in our chalk couture and our order hasn't come in yet. And we've got a huge event this weekend that we're trying to prepare for. So with chalk couture, they don't um, guarantee your transfers if you're using another type of ink with their product. My mom and I have used this ink before. We've never had a problem. It washes out of the screening just fine. But just so you know, if you if you order any of the transfers and you decide to use Speedball ink, the company does not guarantee the transfers if you're using inks or pastes other than the Chalk Couture. So let's get started. What I'm going to do, I'm gonna show you here. I've applied my transfer to the pillow cover and we're using this great Christmas tree farm um, transfer. So what I think I'm gonna do here is I wanna do this Spruce Creek Farm um, Farms in green. I'm gonna do Christmas trees in red. Of course, the trees are gonna be green. The words on either side are gonna be red, and then I'm gonna do red at the bottom where it says cut and carry since 1954. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start with my red and I'll get all of that placed and then we will move forward and use the green. And of course I don't have any paper towels. Give me just a second and I'll be right back. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, squeegee and they normally, well, they come in all different sizes, but for this size, I took a squeegee this big and just cut it in half because sometimes it makes it a little bit easier depending on the project to uh, get your ink or your paste spread. And I'm just going to dip it in to the ink. And I told you guys I'm doing Christmas trees in red, so I'm just going to start applying it. And you just want to make sure you cover, really cover good wherever the design is cut. You want to make sure you get plenty of ink on that. And you have to kind of work fast because it dries super fast and if it dries, it's not a good thing. Well, it dries super fast, especially with the paste. The ink you have a little bit more work time with, which is, which is nice and you don't want the the paste or the ink drying into the screening on your transfer. Misty's gonna do all the red first. Once I get the design completely covered, I just kind of go back over it and remove any excess ink. You don't want a ridge or a buildup, especially in the screened area because it will show on your project. But as you can see, this is super user-friendly, easy. Anyone can do this. We do workshops all the time and have people come that don't consider themselves crafty and or artistic and they are just thrilled that this is something that they can use to create beautiful projects. So I've got all my red done. I'm just gonna drop my squeegee with the red ink into a bowl of water and I'm going to grab the green one. Our transfer is stained a little and that doesn't matter. We just did a big workshop over Thanksgiving weekend and we had a group of gals that created the most beautiful projects and this seemed to be a big hit so it got used a lot. But it is washed. It's just a little stained on the Christmas trees and it that, does, that doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter if they're staining on the transfer as long as there isn't any ink dried in the screen. 
that's been something that's been a little hard for mom and I to get used to because when we use our stencils, we clean them until they're pristine. And so we kind of expected to be able to do this, do the same with these and it doesn't really quite work the same way. But as long as you're getting that screening cleaned every time, you can continue to reuse the, the transfer. And you can see it's a, it's a pretty quick project. Now I'm just kind of going back over the trees and making sure I'm removing all the excess ink. And I just take and wipe it off back onto the edge of the jar because we don't want to waste any product. I'm going to go up and catch the Spruce Creek Farms lettering here at the top and we will be ready to remove our transfer. Just drop that in some water. And now I'm going to start to pull this up. Oh, it's looking good. Instant gratification, of course, is always a good thing. Sometimes with these bigger transfers, it's nice to have two, two people to help pull up, but we'll get her. Okay, so I need to go get this put in a pan of water and I'll be right back to show you the finished finished product. Okay guys, so this is the finished product here. I love how this turned out. And then remember the back, we've got the, the ticking fabric on the back. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to use a heat gun just to dry it and start the heat setting process. What we'll do is I'll heat set this a little bit with the heat gun. We'll set it aside because mom and I have a lot more pillows we're going to be doing today. And what I'll do is videotape a short little segment at the end of this to show you all of the designs that we've done today. We are going to do an overlay video, which is teaching you how to use some of their overlay transfers, and those turn out really cute. So we're looking forward to bringing that to you. But back to the heat gun. So for those of you that aren't familiar with crafting and are maybe new to it, this is just a heat gun. You can use this to heat set glues, paints, inks, um, different things like that in the crafting world. We're gonna use it to heat this. You can pick these guns up at Michael's, Joann's, any store that sells, sells crafting products. This one happens to be a Martha Stewart gun. And I don't think they even sell the Martha Stewart gun anymore at Michael's. That's where this one was purchased. But if you wanted a Martha, I'm sure you could find it online. But any heat gun will work. You don't want to hold it too close to the project because you don't want to cause your ink to scorch and bubble or you to burn the fabric. Yes, because they get extra, extra hot. And you want to keep the gun moving continuously at all times when you have it over the ink and the fabric as well. And you also want to make sure mom's going to heat set this with an iron and in order to do that she'll just set up the ironing board and lay this uh, pillow cover down and then she will put uh, brown craft paper right over the top of the design and then iron over the top of it. What temperature do you set the iron at mom? Hot, but you also want to make sure all this ink is completely dry before you do that. So dry to the touch on your ink before yes. you heat press it with the iron. And you just kind of want to set your iron down on the craft paper and hold it for a minute and move it. You don't want to really rub your iron back and forth on it. And we'll probably set this aside and it will probably set for a couple hours before we're ready to heat set all of them with the iron. And I'll barely just tap my finger to make sure it's dry to the touch and if not, we'll just go over it with the heat gun again. 
but by the time we're ready to do that in a couple hours, it should be dry to the touch. I can see it already starting to dry just running the heat gun over it. It kind of has a little bit of a glisten to it when it's wet, and as it starts to dry, it'll take on a more matte look. Okay, so I think this one is set for us to set aside. And so we're gonna do that. And then like I said, I will come back and do a little recap of all the projects that we've done today. We've got, I think about 12 to 15 pillows that we're gonna be doing today. So I'll make sure to show you how they all turn out and watch for that transfer overlay video coming up soon. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this project, please give it a thumbs up. If you like our channel and want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And thank you again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Okay, so here we are with some of our finished products. We even had a chance to make a holiday banner. We're going to do some torn ticking between the letters or maybe some buffalo plaid ribbon. We haven't quite decided on that yet. So we have a banner. And then I'm gonna walk through and show you each of our pillow designs. This is a 12 by 20 pillow cover. I love the vintage feel of this Christmas tree farm design. So we've got it in those colors and we added some snowflakes. And then on our bigger 20 by 20 pillow cover, we did it in red and green and just kept it more basic and simple, but it has that great vintage feel. These transfers work out really well too if you have a farmhouse theme in your home, farmhouse Christmas. Here's another 12 by 20 with Santa Claus is coming to town. and a 20 by 20 with comfort and joy. We also have this great buffalo plaid pickup truck. I am going to do a video on how to do transfer layering so that you can get this effect. So that will be coming soon. And our cheeks are nice and rosy and comfy cozy are we. This one's a 20 by 20. And I love this reindeer feed company. We did two of those. And we've got a 12 by 20 Merry Christmas. And another Santa Claus is coming to town. So, oh, and the bakery and candy shop. This transfer comes with um, a bunch of other transfer pieces with it. It has candy canes. You can also put Mrs. Claus. We may be, go back up and put Mrs. Claus on the top so that it says Mrs. Claus's Bakery and Candy Shop. But these are how they turned out. Oh, and we've got another pickup truck. So as you can see, these transfers are super versatile. They give you instant gratification. They're very easy to use and you can create some custom designs for your home or your business. Oh, and we have the Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. I almost missed this one. So like I said, I will put our link for the transfers in the description box down below. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like our channel and wanna see more of our videos, please subscribe. And leave us a comment below on what you think of these cute pillow covers. We'll be back soon with another video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.